Today I'm going to make a video of two of my favourite things, daiquiris and Pedro Jimenez Sherry. So keep watching, it's the PX Daiquiri. Hi everybody, Pedro Jimenez in a daiquiri. Whew, when I read this recipe I thought I really need to try this because uh, Pedro Jimenez is one of my favourite types of sherry. For those of you that haven't tried it before, um, it is a sherry that is made from the Pedro Jimenez grapes, predominantly in Spain. And what they will do is they will lay all those grapes out in the sun so that they start to dehydrate. And as they dehydrate, the water comes out of the grapes, obviously. And they're kind of between a grape and a raisin, I guess, at that point. And what that does is by removing the water inside the grape, it concentrates that flavor. They will then ferment it, turn it into a sherry. It is sweet, it is decadent. Uh, I love it on my ice cream, I love it in a lot of cocktails, and I've never tried this recipe, so I'm super pumped to give it a go. Now the first ingredient that it calls for is 45 mils or ounce and a half of a rum agricole. I'm using the Husk Distillers Pure Cane Rum Agricole. This is an Australian rum agricole. As you know from a lot of my other videos, I love to support local. If I can definitely get a version that's made in Australia, I will use it. And as you can tell by the look of the bottle, it's nearly empty. This is really popular at the 18th Amendment Bar. Oh, I can really smell that rum agricole. Oh, beautiful. Um, it is made from first press uh, sugarcane juice, Australian sugarcane, and uh, it's 50% ABV, so I'm going to see how it works in this cocktail. Next up, 22 and a half mils, or three quarters of an ounce, of a Pedro Jimenez Sherry. And last but not least, 22 and a half mils or three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Let's give it a shake. All right, I can really smell that rum agricole. It smells so good. So we're going to double strain that into a chill down glass. Now I'm going to say from the start, that is probably not the prettiest looking cocktail that I've ever seen. It kind of looks a bit murky like swamp water. So I would probably serve this up in maybe a coloured glass or something like that. Now the garnish is just some sprinkle of nutmeg over the top. And that is the PX Daiquiri. Let's give it a try. Oh, it smells so good. That rum, I tell you what. Holy mother of God. That is very complex. I've got flavors coming left, right, and center there. Um, that earthiness, that, that green vibrant flavor from the rum agricole is coming through. It's smacking me in the mouth, especially with that higher ABV. That is delicious. The Pedro Jimenez Sherry, that, that raisiny sort of flavor is integrating with the, with the lime juice. That nutmeg is, is different too. It's just added just another little element, uh, that nice little bit of spice to the drink. Wow. It's something normally that I wouldn't do. I, I must admit, I love drinking rum agricole on its own. I haven't made a lot of cocktails with it, but um, this is something that I would definitely put on a menu, uh, or it's something for bartenders to give it a try as well. Is it an acquired taste? Absolutely. Is it something that you should try? For sure. Please give the PX Daiquiri a try. Also for my Australian viewers, check out the Hust Distillers Rum Agricole. Guys, please like, subscribe. See you again sooner. Let's talk drinks. Cheers.